More major changes for Deschutes County. A new sheriff has been elected for the first time in a decade. Returns show Sergeant Kent Vanderkamp is leading Captain William Bailey by a significant amount, 20%. This race bitterly divided the sheriff's office, leading to million-dollar lawsuits, public legal battles, and calls of political retaliation. Tonight, Jillian Fortner speaks with the new sheriff-elect on how the office will move forward. Vanderkamp came out on top with a decisive win, beating out his opponent, Captain William Bailey, by nearly 20,000 votes. I think their mandate last night was very clear with such a, a huge margin uh, that their expectation has changed and that's the change I'm going to bring. Vanderkamp's victory marks the end of a long campaign to succeed retiring Sheriff Shane Nelson, who had endorsed William Bailey. Despite Vanderkamp's allegations of election interference, he says the numbers don't surprise him. My goal was for serving the people and bringing that, that new perspective to the sheriff's office and I didn't get sucked into all the uh, the outside stuff. I knew who I am and what I'm about, and I think I was able to deliver that message to the voters. The race between Vanderkamp and his longtime colleagues sparked division within the sheriff's office. However, Vanderkamp believes the unification of the workplace has already begun. It's amazing when your room full of people, or most of them are employees, and they're, they're crying with tears of joy about how we're going to bring the office back together, and that's even before I started. In a statement, Sheriff Nelson congratulated Vanderkamp and promised support during the transition. Bailey, while disappointed with the result, vowed to prioritize public safety, a value he and Vanderkamp share. Bill called me and both Sheriff Nelson called me and offered their congratulations and Sheriff Nelson and I have a plan uh, to make a transition. The sheriff-elect says he's ready to get to work. So we're going to make some fiscal changes, go on a diet as they say, uh, and then right behind that is going to be reconnecting with our community. We're going to start dealing with the homelessness issue, uh, the drug issue, and then uh, we're going to start bringing the office back together and, and making some plans for growth. He also expressed concern about the 20,000 undervotes. Uh, that tells me that there's some people that are still disenfranchised with the sheriff's office. So I want to get those people back to the table and, and reconnect with them as well. But uh, of course, thank you and thank you for this opportunity to serve. Sergeant Vanderkamp is set to be sworn into his new role on January 6th. Jillian Fortner, News Channel 21.